Hello, welcome to my video. Today we're going to prepare mashed potato. I know that mashed potato is quite straightforward and shouldn't require a tutorial. However, judging by the number of times I've been served very bland mashed potato in a restaurant, this is not quite as straightforward as it seems. Here I have 1 kilo and 300 grams of potatoes. I just use regular baking potatoes, they do the job nicely. Milk, about 90 milliliters. I'd go for whole milk. Butter, around 40 grams. 60 grams of mascarpone cheese or creme fraiche. A little bit of ground nutmeg. Salt and pepper for the seasoning. And finally, two vegetable cubes to give some flavor to the water we're going to use to boil the potatoes. As you'd have guessed, we need to peel the potatoes first. Always a bit laborious, I must say. Now I'm going to cut the potatoes into small pieces. This is very important because this will enable us to remove as much starch as possible when we rinse the pieces. Starch is the enemy of mashed potato because it gives it a gummy consistency and also tends to alter the taste. I use a colander to rinse the potatoes. You can also use a saucepan. This is done when the potatoes don't feel soapy anymore. It means that most of the starch has been removed. You might have to rinse them for a couple of minutes. I'm now preparing the water. We need some salt, as well as two vegetable cubes to give some flavor to the boiling water. Bring it to the boil. Now I'm putting in the potatoes and we're going to boil them for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes. I've just removed the water. I'm going to crush the potatoes with a potato masher. It also works with a fork, but it takes a bit longer. The preparation doesn't have to be extra smooth. I think it's quite nice to still have some tiny potato lumps in the preparation. I'm now adding the butter and mascarpone cheese or creme fraiche. When these have been fully incorporated in the preparation, it's time to add the milk. Make sure to get the consistency right. You don't want anything that is too liquid or too dry. Some salt and pepper. And finally the nutmeg. The mashed potato is now ready. You can keep it in the fridge for a few days and reheat it in the microwave on lower power. Thanks a lot for watching this video. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the icon. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram by clicking on the links in the description below the video.